it's on the ANVCA page. I think that's just crazy. I think that's just absurd. I think that's just insane. I think that's just imagining. Put your vest on before she turn you on. And Hey babies, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Eva, aka Goddess of Self Love, aka Nigerian Doll. And I'm glad you found me. So, babies, I'm back again with a fashion. Is this a reaction video? Yes, it is a reaction video. This is my second reaction video after the reaction video from the Met Gala. And, baby, today's video is for the AMBCAs. Yes. You heard me the AMVCAs is an annual it's an annual platform held in nigeria created to give accolades for the people in the film industry and it means the african magic viewers choice awards i believe this was created by multi-choice so yeah it was held yesterday being the 20th of may um this this event lasted for three days it started off with a cultural day but i couldn't keep up but the looks i'm about to give a reaction on are the looks for the final day which was the final day of the last event where they received the actual awards and it was a black carpet and baby when i tell you it was so hard because I'm actually reviewing and giving a reaction just for the baddies. I am not giving a reaction for the boys. The boys, the boys didn't do it for me this time. And so, yeah, I'm just, I'm preserving my energy for the girlies because when I tell you, the girlies ate. When I tell you, the girlies had me on a divine chokehold, okay? I believe there are about 15 girlies that were put up on the AMVCA page to be voted in for best dressed, okay? So if without further ado, let's get into this video. If you've gotten to this part of the video and you have not subscribed, you need help, you need Jesus, because what are you doing peeking on my channel without subscribing, okay? So I am going to be just reacting on 10 outfits that are ultimately my own best dressed outfits, okay? Every other person did do it for me. Uh, no shade or no disrespect. This is, of course, respectfully. Some of the outfits did not do it for me. Some of the outfits that were put up to vote. I heard that the, the voting was based off of the most liked outfit or the most liked post on the AMVCA page. I think that's just crazy. I think that's just absurd. I think that's just insane. I think that's just imagining for you to just allow people buy likes. Some people bought likes and some people didn't. I think that's just crazy for you to just allow that MVCA do better. There should be a better yardstick to choose the best dressed, okay? So without further ado, the first on the list for the best, there were of course, put up for best dress is lambo okay lambo baby lambo mama no, you I ate don't. when i tell you <laughs> ah lambo's dress was giving me all the vibes it was giving me ice cream that was her caption when she posted this outfit i loved everything about this outfit i loved that it was different it was unique the gloves the material was sequin this dress was from extra bright it is a nigerian brand when i the fashion industry in Nigeria is getting so crazy. It's getting so maddening. They're, they're so good. The girlies, ace, I can't even emphasize this enough. For me, in my opinion, Lambo deserved to be, to win the best dressed award. I don't know who that other person, I do know. The person that won it, you'll see by the end of the video, but come on. AMVCA, come on, you should have done better than award this based off of likes. Lambo, in my opinion, was robbed. And yeah, moving on to the second outfit, the second outfit that did it for me, the second outfit that just ate, the second outfit that just had me gasping for breath was, of course, our freaking goat, the brown sugar only, one and only, Iniedo. Her outfit was from, hang on a second, I, I believe it was made by a Nigerian brand, uh, but I forgot, I, I did put up a note on my phone. So Ini's outfit was made by a Nigerian brand 
called Lakimi Fashion. When I looked and saw that Lakimi is a Nigerian brand as well, this gave me so much joy. This gave me because the detailing in that dress, it had like something like silver tree trunks. The attention to detail in that dress is maddening. In fact, for me, it is this was supposed to be a fair tie between lambo and the brown sugar i like i said no disrespect but i don't know why they gave best dress to who they gave it to the award but it was just daylight robbery in my opinion so um uh, like i said amy's outfit was made by lakini fashion and the third on the list is venita venita baby venita killed it uh, she was she's been killing it from the first day from her pink and ensemble repping i don't know if it's the Igbo culture she was repping but this other outfit that she served for the final day ate okay she ate and left no crumbs she really like she snatched our souls with the slit did you guys see the slit on that outfit Ugh. did you see the cape thingy on the side the cape detailing on the side of that outfit chef's kiss absolutely love it gorgeous moving on to the uh, to the next outfit that did it for me like i said these are my top 10 looks okay top 10 top 10 baby because i don't know some people that were nominated to be voted in as best dressed they didn't do it for me i'm so sorry honey respectfully they didn't do it for me liquid rose's outfit didn't do it for me i don't know what she, why they put up her picture there uh who else's outfit didn't do it for me? I didn't like um, Messy Aibe's outfit. I don't know why they put it there. Respectfully, this is my opinion, okay? You can, like I said, this is the 10 outfits that did it for me. So moving on to Sharon's outfit. When I tell you, Sharon's outfit reminded me of Tem's outfit for the Oscars award. Yeah, the outfit that she had that was obstructing people's views while she was seated. Sharon's outfit was loved it. It was made by Sheye Ola Dejo, a Nigerian uh, fashion uh, brand as well. Absolutely loved it. Loved the crystal detailing on one of her busts. Uh, I don't know what it's called, but it, it wasn't the whole thing didn't have the crystal ensemble. So moving on to one of my favorite outfit of the night julia abraham baby we all know juliet never really goes wrong she's such an evergreen beauty stunning as usual a stallion ah when i saw her outfit baby there was no picture there was no angle you know how they get bad angle pictures of you and you're not looking as good as the professional pictures released i didn't see not one bad picture of juliet the entire night in different blogs in different videos juliet's outfit was it was made by Lakimi Fashion as well. Let me, let me tell you, baby, this Lakimi Fashion was really pulling weight the whole of yesterday because the best outfits of the night was made by Lakimi Fashion. And this, of course, is by a Nigerian brand. Uh, talking about it, just, it makes me so happy. I'm moving on to the favorite outfit of the night that, of course, was one of my favorite. Uh, Tasha from Big Brother. <laughs> one thing about tasha baby she's gonna blow her trumpet right before any other person gives her her accolade okay i saw a video of tasha saying and as you're posting that video make sure you tell them the prize my dress is 20k my dress is 20k dollar da, 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 da. baby relax okay we get it the outfit eight okay i love the outfit you can never go wrong with royal blue i loved the detailing of the book tape being blue color as well it was just such a divine look. The trailing, the feather trailing as well did it for me. Love that look so much. Moving on to one of the favorite looks of the night would be Nana Akudo. I was going to talk don't. about Nana Akudo first because <laughs> the reason why I didn't I talk don't. about Nana Akudo first is because Nana Akudo's style is futuristic, edgy, daring. It's maddening the fact that as a designer, someone would think about designing the piece Nana Akudo wore for the AMBCAs. I don't know why she was not included to be voted in for best dress. I don't know if it's because she's Ghanaian, but I do know this. Every year she graces us with her 
presence and she always kills it nana kudo you're the goat okay per you did that you always show up and show out you're that bitch you're whoever the, you're whoever you think you are matter of fact okay and moving on to another favorite look of the night of course the adam baby ah the bodies, the bodies, the bodies. The other never goes wrong. Her outfit. Oh, I forgot to add that Nana Kudo's outfit was done. It was made by Anne's Luxury Collection. That is not a Nigerian brand. Uh, <laughs> first of all, did you guys see the detailing on Nana Kudo's dress? I've, I've done, I'm done with her already, so let me not just get carried away. So moving on to Diadem. Okay. Diadem's dress also gave me the shows. I thought it was with home. Um, Franklin, I don't know if that's how it's pronounced. Um, everybody in Nigeria that's into fashion knows Weezy's design layout. It sort of looked like his signature pieces, and I thought it was him. But to my surprise, she did put in the, in the caption that she was styled by a DC style consultant. They are not an actual fashion brand. I haven't looked in on what they do, but the Adams outfit was fire. She was very much that bitch she's whoever the fuck she thinks she is okay and the last outfit that did it for me is Murray Faith. Murray Faith is a body okay she she's giving body she's under person that you know showed up with a royal blue number that i absolutely love and Murray was just stunning like she didn't do too much from her hair to her jewelry. She just had like a silver jewelry and everything was just looking so divine, so gorgeous, so perfect, so risque. Okay. Um, so the last uh favorite outfit of the night will be Beauty's outfit. I love Beauty's Beauty's outfit, but not enough for her to earn Best Dressed Award. But if African Magic is saying, oh, they gave out that award based off of likes, I don't think that's fair on actual people that put in effort that don't care about buying likes or don't care about. Um, I know she's not the only one. Um, a blogger called them out before the end of the night, saying that most of the Big Brother participants that were put up to be voted, a blogger, I think it was Tosin the Silver, I guess, he did call them out saying, the butt likes we don't know if that's true or not but don't forget these are my own opinions these are the people that ate that did it for me for tonight these are my baddies these are the ogs okay shout out to everyone it is not easy to pull to pull up in the carpet looking bomb and looking perfect okay a lot of <laughs> a lot of effort goes into this okay uh anywho i have come to the end of the video I don't know what you guys think about me not reacting for the boys. But like I said, the boys didn't do, really do it for me this year. But yeah, shout out to all the participants. Shout out to all the nominees. Shout out to all the winners for the night. And yeah, let me know if you like this video. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.